Hey gang, I can't tell you how happy I am to be able to share the stories of Terry T-Rex and his friends with you. It's a lot of fun, and you know, I love hearing about how happy you are to watch and learn from them as well. Unfortunately, you know, not all stories are easy and fun though. Uh, and Tourette's Syndrome, or T-Rex, uh, for some T-Rexers, uh, it can be a lot more difficult than it is for others. Uh, now this is the last video of this series and it's a bit different than the others. So I'm actually changing things up a little bit and I'm going to ask mom and dad to stick around and watch this one with you. So have them hang out with you, alright? Now before we get started, I want to let each and every one of you know how important and loved you are by so many people. You know, there's your parents and siblings, your grandparents, your aunts, uncles, cousins, your teachers, and even your friends at school. And the list goes on and on and on. And you know what? I love all my fellow T-Rexers, and I want to see smiles on all of your faces. So, without any further ado, let's find out what's going on with Terry today. Terry is a complete mess today. He's been crying all day long since he got home from school, and he's not able to talk to anybody, not even his parents. His mom finally got him to settle down, but he still can't tell her what's wrong. He just says that if he tells her, she won't love him anymore. Terry's mom hugged him and told him that that will never happen. She loves him no matter what. Terry's mom didn't know what to do, so like all moms do, she went to the source. She went to her mom. And to Terry's grandma. She explained what Terry said to her and just how heartbroken she is to see her baby, baby boy crying so much. She could tell that he was really sad. Now, Terry's grandma invited them over <laughs> for some fresh baked cookies so they could all talk. She always had a way of making Terry feel better, and she knew that she'd be able to find out why he's so sad. So, Terry and his mom showed up and sat down at grandma's kitchen table, and grandma placed two warm, fresh chocolate chip cookies right in front of Terry and poured him a huge glass of ice cold milk. She's pulling out all the stops. She's gonna get to the bottom of this. And Terry sat there just looking, looking at the cookies and he just couldn't eat them. He wasn't hungry, he didn't have an appetite. He couldn't even stomach the smell of those delicious morsels. Instead, and Terry just sat there as little tears began to stream down his face. Grandma looked at Terry's mom with confusion. She didn't know what to do. This always cheered him up before. Whatever was causing Terry's sadness this time was big. Suddenly Grandma had an idea that she thought just might work. Grandmas are good that way. She saw her pet dog lay down in the other room and asked Terry to go in and play with him while she talked with his mom. Terry left the table and walked into the next room and snuggled up close to Indy, the fluffy husky that he loved to pet. As he left the room, Grandma gave his mom the signal to keep quiet. They were within earshot of Terry as he sat and talked with Indy. As they listened, Terry's mom began to shed tears down her face as she realized what was on Terry's mind. It seemed Terry was picked last for a game at school and his friend Ozzy was teasing him and telling him mean things that Terry couldn't get out of his head. Terry told Indy that he was sorry for being ugly and clumsy. He wished he was normal, like the cool kids. He said he wished his mom and dad had a better son and that they'd be better off if he left. When she heard this, Terry's mom burst into a full-blown ball. She ran into the room and scooped Terry up in her arms and hugged him so tight that she almost smothered him. 
She told Terry that he was the best thing that ever happened to her and his dad, and that she was proud of him for who he is, no matter what anyone else said. They went back into the kitchen and sat down at the table where Terry finally felt well enough to eat those delicious cookies. His mom and grandma sat talking about how great of a young man he was as they watched the smile grow back on his face. Okay, T-Rexers, please give your mom and dad the biggest T-Rex hug you can and tell them that you love them more than you can ever explain. I'll be seeing you all again soon with a new series about Terry and his friends. So give me that fist bump and Megalodon will see you guys again soon. Now, like I said, I'm doing things a little differently than I have before and I need to speak with your mom and dad a little bit. So I want to do that alone for a minute while you guys take off. So you guys go have fun and play around, all right? Later, Tater. OCD, or Aussie, can create what are called intrusive thoughts in people with Tourette's Syndrome. Now, these can be much more serious than what is described here. Children oftentimes are confused and embarrassed by these thoughts and they really don't know how to relay them. Uh, they can be extremely graphic in nature, and they range from feelings of self-doubt to actually even sexual thoughts, and to even thoughts of self-harm, suicide, or even homicide. Uh, if, if your child shows any sign of intrusive thoughts, uh, like even what was uh, described in here, as far as not being able to speak, uh, you know, embarrassed by... <laughs> even thinking about what it is. They think they're getting in trouble. Uh, but if, if that happens, seek professional care immediately. It's not something that can be brushed aside and, you know, saved for later. Uh, the, the damage can be fast and very irreversible. So hold your children close and praise them for the blessings that they are. From the bottom of my heart, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to share these stories with your children and to be able to teach them about their T-Rex in a gentle way that they understand. Growing up with it myself and also being a parent, my kids don't have it, but still being a parent, uh, that's given me the understanding and the ability to talk with youngsters, and I'm very happy that I can. So thank you all for your support. Yeah, and your encouragement. And let your children know that Terry and his friends will be back soon. And they'll have some more stories. So, thank you very much. Take care.